Hey guys, I hope you're well and welcome back. So today I'm going to talk you through some maternity outfits that I have been absolutely loving and literally been wearing as my uniform. I'm now eight months pregnant. Things are getting a little bit bigger and a bit more difficult to dress, I'm not going to lie. So I thought if I show you some things that I've been loving and wearing on repeat, it might help some of you guys in a similar situation or even if you're early pregnant and you're looking forward into the future at what you might be wearing, hopefully this can help. Um, some of these things aren't maternity, some of them are, and I will of course link everything down below. Sorry about the seagulls, they are going mad right now outside. Obviously, as always, if you're not looking to consume kind of pregnancy content or see baby bumps right now, then please feel free to skip this video and come back another time, or go and check out some of the other videos I have on my channel, please feel free to do that as well. So, because this camera is really, really heavy, I'm going to pop you on a tripod and I'm going to show you some of the outfits that... I absolutely love right now and have been getting me through and saving my life and stopping me having to walk around naked because trust me no one wants to see that right now <laughs> okay so this is actually the first dress now this is next maternity my mum kindly picked this up for me and this is really really comfortable because it's super floaty it's also a really lightweight material it has sleeves too but they are elasticated so i can always roll those up and what i really like is this kind of frill detail which kind of goes over the bump so it kind of has something about it has a little bit of detail which detracts from the bump so much much. It is quite low but I just pop on a little bralette, usually I wear like a little navy one or a white one underneath and that kind of stops it from being too low. But it's a really nice material, it's kind of navy with um, kind of like creamy beige flowers all over it. So I really like this and I think it's definitely been saving me. I've worn this every time I've been out, like in the evenings if we're seeing friends. It's just something that I feel really comfortable in. I've been wearing this with my Amazon sandals, which hopefully you can just about see. Um, just some tan comfy sandals. It looks really nice with tan. So that's generally what I've tried to be wearing this with. So yeah, I love this. I think it's a really cute little outfit. I just thought I'd show you some basic pieces. Now these pieces have literally saved me. Obviously it all depends on what time of year you're going to be pregnant for, but one thing that I am so glad I bought was these shorts from H&M. I'll come a bit closer. So these shorts from H&M, obviously the maternity, they have the maternity band and they're a really lightweight material. They are, oh, I can never remember what this material is called. I always call it waffle material, but I feel like that is wrong, but they are super, super thin. Obviously, in the UK right now, we've been having a lot of heat waves, and I, I, I upsized in these. I actually got these in a large. Um, at the moment, they are actually a little bit tight, so things are getting a bit tight for me, but they have saved me on heat wave days just because they're so lightweight, and they're also really comfortable around the bump as well. I haven't really bought too many trousers with this bump band, but it definitely is more comfortable as you get bigger. I bought a few things early on in pregnancy, with this bump band, I didn't really see the point, but let me tell you, as you get more down the line with a bigger belly, it definitely is a good idea to have this. So I will leave these links down below. Another must in this weather for me are these. Now, again, these are a H&M purchase. I really want them in a nude color, but they only had them in black and I was in so much pain, I got the black. So these are basically chafing shorts. You don't know what chafing is, it's when your thighs get a little bit hot and rubbed together and it's really really painful i believe a lot of people call it chub rub and um, which i don't think is a very nice way to put it but it is basically chub rub and um, so these really help during summer and obviously with what i do as a job alongside my blog i also shoot weddings with my husband who's a wedding photographer and um, on my feet a lot and i found that i was in quite a lot of pain and my inner thighs would sometimes feel like they were kind of going to get blistered. So these really help. These are quite a thick material. H&M do a lot of chafing shorts, but they're all sold out at the moment. So these were the only ones I could get. But they also have this kind of um, bump support in them as well. I know you probably can't even see it on the screen because they're black. There you go. You can kind of see it here. So this is like a bump support. So it really helps to kind of hold your bump a little bit as well, because the bigger your bump gets, the more heavy it gets. And it can be quite uncomfortable, especially the next day if you've been doing a lot of walking. So these are definitely a must if you're going to be heavily pregnant 
during the warmer months or if you're going away or if you do a lot of walking definitely pick yourself up some chafing shorts lovely glamorous i know and then lastly for like the essential essentials are these little bralettes now these are from Marks and Spencers. I love Marks and Spencers for bras. They are always so comfortable, but these are another level. So they come in a pack of three. Um, so I believe this one came with a navy and a gray color. Um, this is like a light pink color. They are basically bralettes. They don't have any clasp at the back. You can um, make the straps obviously longer or shorter. Um, and they have two kind of padded bits in which annoyingly do come out when you wash them. I hate when that happens. It happens with every bra that I own. So yeah, that's the only thing. But they're so, so, so comfortable and just really good to have. I also have one on now and they look like tops. So because they're quite nice here, the detailing, they kind of look like you've got a top on, but they only go to here. So you haven't got to have the whole top on and get hot and sweaty. So... Yeah. Okay, so this dress is from H&M. Now this is in their maternity range and when I first had it I wasn't sure how much wear I'd get from it and then I wore it every single day for like a week. <laughs> it's so comfy. I really find it quite flattering as well. It has a v-neck that's not too low. Um, it's obviously a short strapped one and it just fits really nicely over the bump. Um, yeah, I just really, really gravitate towards this dress. It's really nice to have something maternity that's not got like loads of frills and puffy sleeves and a weird like babyish print. I feel like a lot of the prints on maternity stuff are like, I don't know, a bit childish almost. So this is really nice. As you, I'll just come in close so you can see the actual print. So it's kind of this really pretty lilac and then it's got like a floral pattern all over it, which I just think is really cute. I do wear another one of those bralettes in white underneath and as you can see it just looks like a little top underneath but it only goes to there so i'm not too hot on the belly um and sometimes i pop on a little shirt with it as well which i'll show you in a minute it's just nice to have something that kind of floats over and i feel like this is really flattering this is actually in a sale so if i can link it down below i will it also comes in like a green color as well but yeah i think this went down in the sale by quite a lot so if you are early pregnant or, I know, late pregnancy, then grab one. I think you could also probably wear this in winter with a jumper over the top. So a few ways that I've been wearing it are actually with a shirt over it as well. This is obviously not during the heat wave, but when it was a bit chillier, um, I've been wearing it with like a little white shirt over, which I think looked really cute and also if you're a little bit insecure about your body because let's face it everything's changing i was definitely insecure about like my bum being a little bit big obviously as my bumps got bigger my bum has kind of shrunk in a little bit um this shirt is really good because it kind of covers everything and skims over everything these shirts are a godsend now these are actually from a local boutique to me but if i can find anything online that are similar i will link them i have one in white this one and one in black and they have just literally saved me during pregnancy. I've also wore it a few times with a denim shirt. So let me show you what that looks like. But again, with some white little trainers or some like black sandals, I think this just kind of makes it look quite casual and quite cute. And I love how flowery dresses and dresses in general look with this over the top. This shirt is actually a really nice like lightweight denim as well. So it's not actually too hot. It's not like a jacket. I think that's cute. Okay, so then we have a jumpsuit. Now, I didn't think I'd be able to wear a jumpsuit in pregnancy because I've got a really long body and really short legs. So a jumpsuit usually is like major camel toe, like it's majorly pulled up. However, this company kindly sent me this and let me tell you guys, I actually love this company anyway. I was really like um and ah in whether to try one of their jumpsuits. So when this arrived, I was like over the moon. So as you can see, it fits really nicely. So this is by a company called Beyond Nine. And Beyond Nine are really good because as the title of the company suggests, you can wear these items during pregnancy, but also beyond. So I know that even though this is kind of technically a maternity jumpsuit, I can still wear it after I've had the baby as well, which is great because it stops all of that waste in fashion. Like I hate buying maternity things that I might never wear again. So this is really nice, it's really simple. This is their poppy jumpsuit and it's kind of like a thin kind of cotton stretchy material which 
is really really comfy especially in the heat again i just wear one of those little bralettes underneath i've got loads of different colors of these so i mix and match but i've also wore a t-shirt underneath in slightly cooler days as well um, it fits really nicely obviously i'm eight months pregnant now and this has fitted me for quite a few months now i would say um, I do roll mine up at the bottom and I got a size small because I think as the sizes went up it actually gave me a little bit more length in the body of the jumpsuit as well. Um, so yeah, it's a really simple piece but actually when you get to the end of pregnancy it's really nice to have pieces like this that you can mix and match. I can obviously wear this with some of the shirts that I just showed you. I can wear it with a jumper under, over the top or underneath. I can wear a t-shirt. So it's something that I can see myself wearing so much, especially for the months after I've had the baby as well, because you can feed in it too. So it's just a really great versatile piece. Like, I've got it on with sandals right now, but I think with trainers or even boots, it would look really good. And I just wanted to prove that you can wear this a multitude of ways. You can even wear it as a pair of tra trousers. So this is just like a little oversized top. Again, this isn't maternity. I picked this up in a little boutique near where I live. But like you can, as you can see, I can pop a little top on and then it becomes like a pair of joggers. So I really love how versatile this jumpsuit is. And again, this top is from a local boutique, but if I can link it, I will. But it's so good. It's not maternity, but it fits over the belly and I can wear it after. So yeah, woohoo. So guys, that is kind of everything I've been wearing on repeat recently during pregnancy. Can't wait to film more videos for you guys and hopefully some more vlogs as well. Let me know down below in the comments the kind of content that you are loving to watch on YouTube at the moment and I'll try my best to do what I can do. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a nice big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you next Wednesday for another video. Bye guys.